This is the Media Mark Weather Show. Weather told through the eyes of Media Mark. Let's take a look at some viewer sent in photos here. Derek Rentschler from Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. He snapped these photos of some nice fall color here uh, on the way home from East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. And he was heading, of course, back to Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. You can see some very nice fall foliage color here. Thank you, Derek, for capturing some of these photos. Now, in the last photo, he does have a question about this shiny light in the disc sky as he depicts it. And I've seen one of these before. This is like, it's not part of the sun, but it's a halo around the sun. The sun is trying to shine through several layers of clouds at the same time. And these ice crystals are very far up in the sky and some of them are much lower in the sky. And you get this rainbow-like effect. It's, it's like a sun halo type thing. And it's, it's very rare to see one. Sometimes it's, it's more apparent here and in uh, seasons like fall and such when you get these low stratus decks or these high alto cumulus clouds that tend to come in sheets. So that's what we've got going on here. Uh, thank you, Derek, for sending those in. We head on to uh, Lenny Mandola from Roseland, New Jersey. Take a look at this. I encountered this line of thunderstorms in upstate New York, and he encountered the same line of storms here on Monday. You can see a line of storms move through. Very, very ominous sky. Look at the interesting colors here in the cloud deck. It almost looks like a, a one of those uh, severe thunderstorms out in the plains. You got that uh, uh, ring cloud out there, this rounding out cloud here. Very nice, nice capture here, uh, Lenny. Thanks for sending that in. And this, this was a very strong line of thunderstorms. It actually prompted a tornado watch for several hours across much of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and upstate New York, parts of uh, western New England. So thank you, Lenny, for sending that in. And we head down to uh, Linden, Texas here, Lucas. Take a look at some of these photos. He got some really nice puffy cumulus clouds against a nice blue sky backdrop here. But uh, most interesting, notably one, is this one right here. This is a uh, cumulonimbus cloud. You can see either the sun looks like it's setting on it. And it's a very strong, looks like a strong cumulonimbus cloud here, thunderstorm off in the distance. Very nice capture there, Lucas. And we go through some really nice fall, no, actually not fall foliage down there. They're still looking very much like summertime down there. And you even have some blooming flowers here on some of these slides. So thank you, Lucas, for sending these in. And we get right down to the last two tranquil shots here where we get some very nice sunsets here in London, Texas this time of year. So thank you, Lucas, for sending those in. Now we're gonna move on to some uh, tropical weather here. I'll tell you what, Karen wasn't much of a storm, was she? So the hurricane season really has not been very eventful this year. And it will continue off the Cape Verdes here. We do have a invest system. It could become a depression. Uh, but models really take this kind of out in the Atlantic. It finds a weakness in the subtropical ridge and moves it up. No threat to land. That's it, pretty much it for the tropics. The wind shear and the dry air are just destroying any system that tries to form, especially in the Gulf, the Caribbean, and up the East Coast. So let's take a look at some of your uh, weather factors here. The most active weather will be in the northwestern part of the U.S. into uh, the northern Rockies here, where we'll see the most precipitation later on into the plains this week. We'll get in on that act. Most of the moisture will be pushing off the East Coast with a double barrel high pressure system building in for eastern Canada and the United States. Let's take a look at those particulars. This is the pattern this week. A uh, very digging trough here in the northern plains, northern Rockies, keeping that unsettled weather here. And across much of the southern states here, across the southern plains, Gulf Coast looking pretty nice. Up here in the northeast, get out there and enjoy that fall color through the weekend as well. But we could be having some problems Thursday and Friday in the northern plains. We could have some severe weather into uh, portions of the Dakotas down and through Nebraska and Kansas. And we could have on the back side of that some snow, very similar to not as bad as last week's system with the heavy snow, but we'll continue to watch that here at Media Mark. Other than that, we're looking at a very quiet October for much of the country, especially the east, and a much above normal temperature wise. Many of you are wondering, what does this mean for winter? Well, I'm working vigorously on my winter weather outlook, and that will be coming out extremely shortly. By shortly, I mean hopefully in the next five to six days. That's pretty much going to do it here at Media Mark. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at Media Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com. Here's a five-day outlook for the Susquehanna region of upstate New York, the Susquehanna region of northeast Pennsylvania. As I've said, 
Very nice. Look at these temperatures, low to mid 60s, going towards the mid to high 60s towards the weekend. Overnight lows, great sleeping weather. You can finally sleep for a change after that hot, hazy, humid week. And look at this through the weekend. Get out there and enjoy that leaf color because conditions are becoming peak in the southern tier of New York, northeast Pennsylvania, and starting to go past peak in the Poconos and the Catskills. That's going to do it for Meteo Mark. Thank you.